Hey everyone, my name is Kristen and I have lost 140 pounds using a ketogenic lifestyle. Today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. It's a full day of eating keto, but first, like I said, if you're new here, my name is Kristen, 46 years old and I'm 5'7". I started my weight loss journey at 332 pounds and now I'm sitting at 192 pounds and so that's a weight loss of 140 pounds. I stated I started my keto journey on July 21st, 2019, and I love keto for more than just weight loss. I started back working this past week. I'm sore because what I'm doing is I'm a server in a seasonal restaurant. It's only open from the end of April until October. And I stopped working last October. So now I'm working muscles that have not been worked in a long time. So I am very sore, but I'm still walking. I walked three miles yesterday, two miles the day before. Some people worried that I'm gonna overdo it, but I need to walk in order to get those natural endorphins in my brain. I feel my best when I'm walking and I don't wanna give that up. So. Even though I am dead bone tired by the end of the night, I still need to walk. I'm starting to use some new things that I've used in the past. One of those things is keto chow. I made chaffles that were delicious. They reminded me of Belgian waffles from the days of yesteryear when I had carbs absolutely delicious. They were banana flavored. I also, when I have been working, I've been using the keto chow in drink form. The chocolate peanut butter being my favorite. So good. I will link, do a link down below if I can find one. I don't really know how to do that, but if you need something to help you with your keto journey, you can use something like keto chow. You don't have to use it, but it does come in handy. So that's why I'm using it. I am also um, doing mainly net carbs right now. I wanted to do total carbs, but it's just not in the cards. I'm trying to get into a new routine and I'm tired. So just making sure I keep my calories to a reasonable level because I do have to count ca calories even though I am keto and keeping my carbs at a reasonable net carb level. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm okay that I'm not losing a ton of weight right now. Like I said, I have lost 140 pounds in the last 21 months. So it's okay that I'm trying to get into the swing of things and that I'm just maintaining this healthy lifestyle so that I can feel my best. Keep trying every day to get healthier. And if you can just stay keto, stay keto. That's what I do. I have to stay keto in order to feel my best. So I can't ever go off plan like some people they do. My plan is always to be keto. I can't do gluten. I can't do sugar or I feel like absolute garbage. <laughs> so I have a Facebook group if you want to go over there and chat away. It's called um, Kristen Johns, come join us there. I'll link that below. And I also have an Instagram and I post there even when I'm not posting on YouTube. And that's called at Keto Kid Kristen. I'll post that below. I have a lot of what I eat in a day ketos and I will post a link to all of those below. And I also do some grocery hauls, which I haven't done any lately, but I will try and get one to you soon. Um, we actually need a lot of food, <laughs> but like I said, I've been busy. I'm the, the place I work at is a, a lobster house. So I carry very heavy trays. Um, and I'm really getting a different sort of workout. I haven't lost weight, but it is shark week. So I think I might have lost weight. It's just not showing up on the scale. And I'm also probably retaining water because I am doing net carbs, so I'm having more carbs. And because of the muscle pain, I'm probably retaining water for that. But I don't like to make excuses for not losing weight. I just think I'm pretty much 
on a break because life is just not in a groove right now for me. I need to find a new house. Um, we have to be out of our winter rental four weeks from today and I'm starting work. So things are just kind of up and down. And if I just stay keto and keep the weight off, I'm going to be happy. So without further ado, here is what I eat in a day for huge weight loss. If you don't mind, could you please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. It really, really does help my channel grow. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in a little bit. Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot how to act. It's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words. It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words. Now I know why I never worked out before High low, it would always turn out bad, so bad But every time we start a fight, we always stop in time We both know how to be gentle, never cross the line I feel calm when you're around Like nothing can break me So this is my breakfast. I have eight pieces of bacon. Kira had two of the bacons that I took. I have my good culture cottage cheese. This is three carbs. Then I have 20 grams, about 20 grams of the good, good strawberry jam. That is four carbs. Then I have two cups of um, chocolate coffee, triple chocolate coffee from Great Value Walmart. I have 32 ounces of water, which I put a scoop of Ultima Replenisher electrolytes in and a, a dash of the Mio Water Enhancer. The Premier Protein, this has more carbs. It has five carbs compared to the cinnamon roll one that only has three, so this is 2.5 carbs. And then I put a splash of the French Vanilla in. So this ends up being one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, nine and a half carbs. I weigh and I measure absolutely everything. So I'm going to eat this up and I'll see you all in the next segment. You give me this energy. It is like you set me free. And heights to stay alive But if I'm with you I'll survive So hold me close into the night Cause I need you to stay You take me to paradise That's why it's hard 
guys, so I'm back to work and I decided to get some keto chow to help me out, make things easier on myself. So today I'm going to make some keto chow chaffles. They're three, they're called three ingredient chaffles and I will link the, ingre the ingredients or the recipe down below. So you just need three eggs. I'm doubling this recipe. So three eggs, one cup of mozzarella cheese, and one package of chow. So I'm going to mix this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. I got banana and I also got some chocolate peanut butter to make the actual chow with. I had this yesterday at work. It's so good. It tastes just like a Wendy's Frosty. So I'm so happy that I got this. I also got some vanilla and I may order some more. So I will link, I'll try and find a code and if I do find one, I'll link it below. But yeah, I'm gonna mix this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the final product. I have three here. I've had a couple already because I'm hungry. Um, so I use the mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna eat one full packet of the keto chow. I put a couple servings of the good good jam on top and then I put a tablespoon of Lakanto maple syrup on top so I am going to eat this up for lunch and then I'll see you all in the next segment this is it's so delicious so good all right so for dinner I made some chicken in the air fryer and what I did was super simple I used this holy voodoo meat church barbecue rub I put that on top of the chicken, just kind of coated it in it. This has one carb per serving. So I did that and then I cooked it for about 16 minutes total until it was 180 degrees. And then I had, I actually had already had one piece of the unbun. I toasted up um, two thirds of an unbun and I put some butter on it. So this is my dinner i'm going to eat this up it's seven ounces of chicken all right so i'm going to eat this up if you don't mind could you please hit like subscribe and ring the bell it really really does help my channel grow thanks so much for watching and have a great day you give me this energy it is like you set me free chasing heights to stay alive Survive.